fall is here and the meadows are all gold. It's my favorite time of the year. I think that may be because I was born in October. I've always loved fall. The smell of the leaves in the air and the, just the changing, the beautiful colors of it's like a it's like a God's taken a paintbrush and painted everything in vibrant yellows and oranges and reds and I love the seasons because the seasons are like our lives. Spring is birth. Summer is the prime of our life. And the fall is when we rest and uh, enjoy the harvest of our life. And then winter, we sleep. We, we die or we pass on. But the seasons reflect that. I've always been like a phoenix. I've been through a lot in my life, a lot of challenges, a lot of, uh, seen a lot of things in a short lifetime, over many lifetimes. <laughs> um, it was all leading up to this time. I'm aware of that now. The thing about angels is that they were put to tests. They didn't have easy lives because they had to learn. They had to be tested in their faith. They had to learn lessons to help them to get through this time and to lead and to fight and to help the other angels to rise up that are trapped. Um, I've been, uh, I haven't been on here to speak lately because I've been sick. It happens every now and then. Um, I didn't take the elixir that the dark ones put out. So, um, I'm around a lot of people who have, and it seems like they shed I'm not sure if that's true or not, but most of my life I've never really suffered from any ailments like I do now because I try to eat healthy and take care of my body. But since I started, uh, since I started to awaken to my path, I've had to transmute a lot of energy. So I see things, I have dreams, and messages come through in the dreams. And sometimes, you know, we, we do get spiritually attacked. And uh, there are forces that want to try to stop. There's a loud tractor going by. Um, there are forces that want to interfere and stop us getting our word out to people. And I get knocked down, but like the phoenix, I just rise back up stronger. Um, and I, I know in my heart that all these things happen to me just to keep me going and to keep me strong and to keep me grounded. So today I felt a bit better, so I'm out soaking in the, the sunlight and the, the fall air. And everything is just blooming. All around. I want to talk to you today about false prophets.
But first I want to say it's uh, I want to talk about grooming. How women have been groomed from the time they're children to believe that they're something dirty or that they cause all the grief of mankind when seriously women come into the world to bring new life into the world but the, uh, the ones in power know that if they can groom women then they make us disposable just looking across at the the mountain it has windmills on it i don't know if you can see them um for generations Women have been groomed to think that they are not equal to men or that they need to be greater than men or they need to they need to be slaves. They're lower than than men. And men have been groomed to think that women are nothing more than this, disposable. And when a woman is fed lies her entire life, when mother suffers, everyone suffers. So if she's abused, that ripple effect will run right across the world because she is a portal for souls to come onto this planet. Men were put here to protect the women and children, but through their lies and deception, they've caused men and women to be divided and compete with each other. And the children are left in the rears, watching this like little birds being groomed for the next generation. of slaves. Now the false idols can no longer hold their grip. You're going to see as stock markets crash, everything is going to crash. Anything related to money because money is the root of all evil. So there won't be any cryptic money. There won't be any internet to fall back on eventually. And these gurus that ask you for money are like prostitutes in Babylon as it falls. Anytime someone asks you for money, they are trying to get your attention away from your own healing. They're trying to trap you into another pyramid of scheming and using your light to bring them abundance but that abundance will be taken away from them it is up to you to find the strength to cut the ties and say I'm not going to allow anyone to hijack my soul my connection to God you know it's in you to know Give support to the people that are trying to teach you how to live from the land or how to um, learn about medicine, learn about a connection with the earth, learn about things that will help you when everything else is taken away from you. Your spirituality is inside of you. Your connection with God is inside of you. 
don't allow somebody to come in and hook you like a fish and pull you out of out of your your temple God is in you God is within you and all that grooming and all those lies they told you and fed you through television television screens and worship of false idols and monarchies and religions and television stars and yeah. abundance isn't money abundance is knowing how to survive and get through anything Abundance is being grateful for every day you're given on this planet. Because this is heaven. But they want to turn it into hell. And wake up, you're all angels. You've been trapped. You've been deceived by the fallen ones. Take back your life. Take back your light. Take back your children. Help them. They need you more than ever. I know you can do it. Be like a phoenix. Because as I said, angels get stronger. When they hit bottom, it's time to rise up. And when you rise, you burn away all those lies and deceptions and things that held you back. I believe in you. I know you can do it. God is watching over you. I love you.